Hi everyone, it's me, Traveler Lily, here back with another book review. Um, here on my channel. Um, not, I meant to, I said book review, didn't I? I meant to say part two of my bookshelf tour. Um, here on my channel. That's what I meant to say. I'm so, I'm so used to saying book review and book haul and all that on my channel. I'm not used to saying bookshelf tour yet, so. Anyway. Yeah, um, this is part two of the bookshelf tour that I did a few days ago. Um, if you haven't seen part one yet, I will link that in, um, the icon above the beginning of this video. Or in the description, um, of the white cow thingy, you know, whatever, you know. <laughs> um, down below the video. So, yeah, this is part two of the bookshelf tour and like as you noticed right here when my arm is clearly waving um it's this bookshelf is next to my desk and you can't see it but it's next to like this hat rack that I got a whole bunch of like hats and scarf and purses and coats and all that next to it and then like right next to it's my book my door to my bedroom here so um so yeah, basically that's why it's here because there's enough room in my bedroom to put both bookshelves next to each other just because my bed's so big and the fact that I have a really big desk here in my room, I just can't really put um, my two bookshelves together like a lot of people do and the fact that my closet's so big and I got my dresser and my TV hooked up in my closet that I can't, you know, like I said, put two bookshelves together and do it like most people, where they have clearly a wall full of, like, shelves with books in them, so, yeah, that's why. So, anyway, I should probably get on with the video. It's just been a long enough intro, and I know I'm zoomed out for this because um, I couldn't find any real way to zoom in a lot closer to these shelves. Just to show you all the books up close, um, like with part one of the bookshelf tour, um, just because this is, just because I don't really have an angle of where I could do that, where I could zoom it, like, get close as I can with my laptop to even record, um, part two of this video, so I have to zoom out, um, and record this and show you guys the book. So I will bring the books closer for you guys to see so that way you guys can see them. So anyway, on with the tour. But I should have taken this down before I started recording. It's probably what I should have done. But the first book I got is Simon vs. the Homo Sapien Agenda by Becky Albertalli. Um, a lot of you guys, I'm sure, have heard of this. Um obviously from other people and all that and sorry if the lighting's bad and everything I just don't have good lighting like directly right in this spot right here and it's all like natural light coming in from my window because my window faces this bookshelf so you're probably seeing me in more natural lighting than my ceiling fan and stuff so and plus it's like mid-afternoon where, where I'm from so it is kind of starting to it's done, kind of starting to go down south why Anyway, Simon vs. the Hope City and Ginger by Becca Ab Becky Abitelli. Um, next one is All the Bright Places by Jennifer Nyvern. Oh, sorry guys, that's my cat. She wants to come in. Bye, Bella. Yeah. Sorry, that was my cat. She likes to talk to me occasionally, you know, all the time, as most cats do, so... Yeah, um, anyway, I got All the Right Places by Jennifer Nervin, Nervin, not sure how you would pronounce it, but yeah, it's one of the few new books I got. So if I keep zooming, if I, not zoom in and out, but keep going in and out like this a lot, it's just because I want to get closer so you guys can see a lot more better rather than standing, like, way over here and showing you guys it, so I might do it like that instead, but we'll see. Hi, Bella. And I got A Shadow Bright and Burning by Jessica, um, Clueless, 
the clue S. Um, I got another cat that just came in. I have three cats, so yeah. Anyway, side the point. <laughs> I got Shadow Bright and Burning by Jessica Clueless. Um, yeah. So that's the next book I got. And then The Thing with Feathers by McCall Hoy Y'all. Not sure if that even pronounced correctly, but yeah. I just love this cover. Don't you just love the cover? It's literally the thing with feathers, and I just love how it's literally a feather pen just writing out the title on this, and it's really simple. It's not all, like, flashy, and doesn't have, like, a whole bunch of stuff decorating it, like most contemporary, like, books have, you know, where it has, like, some scene from some way or whatever, you know, and all that on the cover. I just like the fact that it's literally just a feather. <laughs> I'm just gonna leave my door open because my cats just want to keep coming in. So, and hi. It's <laughs> Bella. Anyway, keep getting sidetracked by my cats. Sorry about that. Um, next one I got is What to Say Next by Julie Bucks. Bucks, um. Oops. I'm not sure how you would pronounce the last name, but if it, I got what to say next. And I just love the cover of this. Again, I just really love the contemporary covers for what you know for whatever reason. Probably because they're, you know, simple and you get more of a general idea of what's gonna happen. Um Sorry about that. If you can hear a vacuum, that's because we got a um we got so much Someone named Linda cleaning our house because she cleans our house twice a month, every month and stuff. So yeah, I, but yeah. Anyway, contemporary novels. I don't know. I just feel like they're really pretty and they're just so simple. And for what I, I mean, there are fancy ones that are, are pretty too. But hey, um, gonna have to move a few things here because it's down to last of books. So I don't want things falling over. So next one I got is. Daughter of Smoke and Bone by Lainey Taylor. Um, yeah, I picked this up because I never read any of La Lainey Taylor's um, books. And the reason why I looked down there is because I thought there was a cat there, but there's not. Anyway, yeah, this, as I'm sure a lot of you know, this is the first book out of this Daughter of Smoke and Bone trilogy. I decided to pick this up because, like I said, I never read any of Lainey Taylor's books. Um, books before, so I don't know what most of her story. I mean, I kind of, I kind of know what most of her story is about, but, like, I don't, I ne just never read them before, so, yeah. Same thing with Sarah J. Mass. I never read any of Sarah J. Mass's stories, yet I hear a lot of people are enjoying, like, the Throne of Glass series, even though there's kind of mixed reviews, you could say, on the Throne of Glass series, even though it's so well received. And then there's like a chord in, a chord in Thor Thorns and Roses series, um, which I've heard so many good things about. I mean, I've heard good things about like the first two and stuff. Like I've heard like good things about like mostly about the first two books, but the third one kind of I've kind of heard kind of just fell flat. But yeah, um, and the last book. In that pile is Nemesis by Brandon Riches. Um, yeah, it's another book I've never read. A lot of these books I've never read. So, yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, a lot of these books I'm going to have to put back myself because, like I said, I don't know how to edit that well. And. So, if I'm distracted, it's because I got all my cats, like. Um, coming in in and out of my room constantly, so I kind of get distracted easily a lot of the time, so that's why, and like, you know, when you got like three cats and two of them happen to be boys, then it's um, really difficult to stay on topic here. And um, if you don't know, I have three cats and two dogs, so yeah. Oh yeah, if you're wondering about the picture in the back and what it says, here, let me show you it, kind of. It says, 
being a unicorn in a field of horses, you can't really see it from far away, but once you get up close, then you can see, like, the wording and stuff, because all the wording is glittery and made with glitter, so that's why you can't really see it and stuff. And so, and right behind it, I didn't do this with the last bookshelf, but um, I have two stuffed bears on the shelf. This is one of them. And one the other, the other one is in a clay um, part, which you'll see from far away, that I made junior in art class um, back when I was in high school. And that's my cat. Here's my kitty. <laughs> Isn't she adorable? <laughs> yeah, so that's my cat, Bella. Anyway, yeah, and then I got Wonder Woman on the shelf. The Wonder Woman Funko Pop. Anyway, so, and then I have a horse, as you can't, oh, yeah, right there, as you can see, far away. As well, so, yeah. So, the first book, and the second pile is, is, um, The Secret of Nightingale Wood by Lucy Strange. So, yeah. Um, the next book I got in the second pile is Alex and Eliza, a love story by M Melissa D. LaCruz. Um, I think this is based off Hamilton. I think. I'm not entirely sure. I don't know because I haven't really watched Hamilton or anything like that or anything related to Hamilton, so I don't know if it's based upon it. So, yeah. I think it might be based on, upon Hamilton. Correct me if I'm wrong. And then I got Me and Earl and the Dying Girl by Jess Andrews. Um, I've seen the movie of this, like bits of the movie, but like not. I think not the entire movie. I'm not sure, but I heard the movie isn't is really good and stuff. And I had to pick up the novel. And by the way, the people on this cover are the people from the movie. So the people that played the main characters within the story, so, yeah. Um, then I got The One Memory of Flora Banks by Emily Barr. Um, yeah, so I got this one as well. Um, so, yeah. Oh, so my arms. I think this is my eye on my eyes. Just, I don't know, because I'm squinting so hard, because I'm not wearing my glasses at the moment. But I probably should be wearing my glasses when I was squinting, but, yeah. Um, then I got We Are Okay by Nina Lacar. Not sure how you would pronounce it. Um, I started reading this a little bit as well. Haven't gone very far. I'm like on page, uh... 15, so, so, yeah, yeah, so I got that, so that is the second pile of, um, of this very top shelf, so it took so long for me to get through, like, 15 of these books and stuff, I know it's been over, like, 15 minutes since we started this, and I'm already distracted, um, and stuff by cats, and I know I should have been like halfway th through this video, but that's okay. It's fine. We're good, because there's so many books, it might take a while, so sorry about that. And the next one is Joe's Story, um, Portraits of Little Men, um, by Susan Beth Feather, but it's, it's inspired by Louisa May Ascot's Little Woman. Um, so this is just a little short story of, of what happens with Joe, um, from Little Woman. And I do have Little Woman on the shelf, but I will be getting that after I do the books on top of these ones here. So, yeah. Um, there's four little portraits of the four March sisters. So obviously, you know, May... Joe, Beth, and Amy, so yeah. So yeah, that is a little, so it's just like a little, like, short story. It's not, it's not very long, it's like really only like this thick. 
so you can get through it very quickly. Um, the next one is Pride and Prejudice by Jane Austen. I just got this yesterday because I haven't read any Jane Austen's works and I hadn't really owned a copy of any of Jane Austen's works, so I finally had to get Pride and Prejudice since it's the most popular and I think one of the most well known wor works by her, so I had to get Pride and Prejudice. You know, obviously, because I think I've seen the movie and I liked the movie. I don't, I forget which version it was of Pride and Prejudice, but I definitely liked the movie, so I had to get this. And then I, then I've seen the movie Becoming, um, I think it was called Becoming Jane, of how Jane Austen began writing her novels, you know, and stuff, and how she slowly became Jane Austen, but yeah, I get that as well um next one is witchwood by um tara moffy um i had to get this one as well so yeah um so that is the next book i got so next three are pen dragon the Merchant of Death, Book One. Well, book, well, it's Pen Dragon, Book One, The Merchant of Death, but by D. J. McHale. I did a book review like a day or two ago about this book and how much I loved it and how much I loved the character development and everything. So if you want to check that out, I will leave a description, leave the link in either description below or um, up in the i card at the beginning of the video. Um, if you want to check what my thoughts are of it and all that so yeah um pet dragon and then i got when dimple met reiji by sandia minon minon I'm, I'm not too sure about a lot of these names because i know i'm butchering a lot of them so yeah Again, I was interested in this one as well. This is one of the new books I got um, as well. I read Pendragon before, as I mentioned in my book review of it. That I read the Pendragon series when I was a kid, so yeah. Anyway, I had to get this because I was interested in it. A lot of these books I've been interested in and stuff, but I really want to do read, so yeah. The next one is Stalking Jack the Ripper by Carrie Manicol... Co? Not sure how you would say last awesome. Again, like I said, I'm pretty sure I'm butchering a lot of these, so, yeah. Um, I heard such good things about, um, Stark and Jack, Jack the Ripper, and, um, was, what was his second book? I think it says here, I'm not entirely sure. Hunting, yeah, Hunting Prince Dracula, that's what it's called. Um, Hunting Prince Dracula, that's what it's called. So, yeah, I've heard such good things about this book and Hunting... Count Dracula, so I had to get, um, well, not Count Dracula, Prince Dracula, what it's called. So I had to get this one, you know, just check it out, you know. Okay, so the last three books on top of all of these books I have on the first shelf are All the Crooked St Saints by Maggie Steve Water. When We, when we Collided by Ave. Emery Lloyd. And then I got The Dreadful Tale of Prosper Redding by Alexandra Bracken. Yeah, it's probably going to take me over 30 minutes just to say all these books because I got distracted so easily by the cats that I'm it's probably going to take me over 30 minutes just to do all this, which is fine because I figured I was probably going to get distracted and all that, buy all these books, and the fact that I just got so many more books on this one, because it kind of overflows and everything, so, yeah. Um, oh, skip your shelf. Next one, I got. Well, next, well, it's a series, but I got The Hobbit, The Fellowship of the Ring, The Two Towers, and the Return of the King, all by J.R.R. Tolkien. 
So yeah, basically the Lord of the Rings like series. Then I got Pippi Longstocking by Astrid Lenning Lenning Gerg. Lenning Gerg. I think that's how you say it, but <clears throat> And then I got Outcast of Redwall um, by Vanden Jack Jack Jackins. Not Jackins. That's how you say it. I'm not entirely sure. And then I got. Hang on, let me put Redwall away. It's kind of hard to do that with so many books. Then I got The Prince and the Pauper by Mark Train. Um, and it's a great illustrated classics version of it so um it's by mark chain but it's in an especially adapted version by shirley bogart so you so within this book you can see pictures um like this one here of what happens with the story in for certain scenes and all that so yeah and then i got little one by louisa may ascot um, this is a, again, another specially adapted version, but by Lucia Manfred. So, um, yeah, again, this one has pictures without, without the book, so you can see what scenes are happening and all that, so, yeah. Um, then I got Frozen by Melissa D. La Cruz and Michael Johnston. Um, again... This is not, oh, again, I mean, this is book one of the Heart of Dread series. And no, this is not Frozen, like the movie, where Elsa sings, let it go, <laughs> and stuff. And this is not, again, inspired, inspired by the Snow Queen. That's the movie Frozen is inspired by the um, Snow Queen. So, just, the book has the name Frozen um, as the movie Frozen, so don't get confused there if you think this is a version of the movie Frozen that is also a version of the Snow Queen. So don't get confused. This is an entirely separate thing with its entirely own world, its entirely own characters and all that. Completely different. So yeah. Um Then I did Down the Darkest Road by Tammy Ho Oig. Um, I did a book review on this one a while ago, so you can check that out, um, as well. So, yeah. Oh, no, I thought the cat was standing there. So, I keep my door closed a lot, so. Yeah. Um. Then, I got A Feast for Crows by George R. R. Martin. Um, from the Song of Ice and Fire series. Um, I, the reason I have book four and not, like, books one through, like, five, like, books one, two, three, and, like, five, because I only found book four at my local bookstore, and I didn't get books one, two, three, and five for whatever reason at the last book sale. Um, if they are at the next book sale, then I would definitely get them. That way it makes more sense why I got this one. So, yeah. Um. Well, I have seen HBO Go's, um, um, Game of Thrones. So, I know what the book series is about. So, yeah. So, I kind of have an idea of what the books are about. So, anyway. Next book I got is Cinder. Cinder. From the Lunar Chronicles by um, Melissa Meyer. Um, I read book one a while ago. Um, I haven't done a book review on it or anything like that, but I have read this first book. I don't have the other three in the series. I plan on getting the other three soon because I liked reading this a lot, and I can see why people enjoy it. So, yeah. I'm, and plus, I believe it's my first sci fi novel that I actually liked. So, yeah. And then I got Vampire Academy, Frostbite, Shadow Kiss, Blood Promise, 
and Last Sacrifice, all by Rochelle Maid. The reason why I don't have um, Spearbound is because um, my one of my closest friends is, is borrowing it, and she read it like over like. A, like over two years ago and she still has not returned it to me but she said next time she comes over she will return it to me because I asked for it back and it's been two years since then so anyway yeah that's why I don't have the fifth book there so anyway yeah um, yeah and then I got Deadly Little Secret by Lori Farah Stories? Stories? I'm not entirely sure how you'd say that, but yeah. One of the newer books I got. Oh, almost dropped those. Thankfully, I didn't. Okay. Um, the next one I got is Water for Elephants by Sarah Gruen. Dog on It by Spencer Quinn. Dragon Rider by Cordelia Fun Funke. No. And then I got it. The Melancholy of Hurry Suzumiya. The Sigh of Haruhi Susan Mia. And I got The Disappearance of Haruhi Susan Mia. Um, all by Naguru Tagiwa. Tagi. Tagiwa? No, not sure how you pronounce it, but. And I probably butchered it too. But this is all manga that I got over a few years ago. I mean, it doesn't have, like, pictures or anything in it. It's just all the words from it, but it's the, like, first three volumes of it. And then I got Marley and Me by John Grogan. And then finally on this first shelf, I got Half Bad by Sally Green. Totally sure. Um, the next shelf I got The Wind in the Willows by Kenneth Graham and illustrated by Inga Moy. I just love this cover so much because it's like really pretty and it show and it shows two of the characters from the book on the cover. I'm not sure if you could see that in because it's really heavy so I can't really hold it for really long. But yeah, it's really pretty. Yeah. Then I got a Christmas, a Christmas Carol by Charles Dickens, and illustrated by Carter Goodrich. Um, I got Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone, Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. Um, Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban. Harry Potter in the Goblet of Fire. And finally, we have Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix. The reason why we don't I don't have um, books six and seven is because we had gotten these books before um, book six and seven came out, so and we just never got around to getting book six and seven. But we have seen the mo we have all we have seen all, like, eight movies of Harry Potter, so we know what happens at the end with Harry Potter. Even though we never read the last two books, so, yeah. And then we got The Heresy of Dr. D by Phil Reichman. I said we, but I meant me. I meant me and my family, but... Um, anyway, I got To Kill a Mockingbird by Harper Lee. 
The Time Traveler's Wife by Audrey Neff Neffengarger. Not sure what I'm saying. It's a steroid, so I can't read the last part of it. Um, I got Sarah's Key by Tatiana D. Rosnay. Let me bend down again. You see? Yeah, you see. Okay, good. And then I got The Mermaid Chair by Sue Monk Kidd, who's also the author of The Secret Life of Bees. Um, then I got Tell Me Three Things by Julie Buxham. And then I got The Sisterhood of the um, Traveling Pants by Anne Brushes Ways. Well, all these names are hard to say, so. Um, and then I got the Star Touch Queen by Raji Hoshi. Again, all these names are hard to say and I can't even pronounce. That's fine. Um, then I got I Will Always Write Back How One Little Changed Two Lives by Caitlin Alfinka, Inka, not sure. And Martin Gonda with Liz Welsh. So, I did a book review on, no, I, I meant to say book recommendation, I did a book recommendation, that's what I'm trying to say, on this book, um, I read this book in two days, that's how good it was to me, um, so I'd highly check out, um, this book and the video I did on it in my recommendations playlist, so, yeah. And then, Don't Judge a Girl by Her Cover by Ali Carter. This is the third book um, in her series. I got this when I was a little kid, and they didn't have, like, the first, like, two books of this series. So I just thought, for whatever reason, that this was just, I don't know, book two or something like that of a series or whatever um, and stuff. So I haven't really realized it was a series until later on. So... Then I got, next up, The Education of Little Tree, a true story by Forrest Carter. And then I got Joseph and the Coat of Many Colors, adapted from the Coat of Many Color Colors by Aviana Derwent. And then I got Young Black Stallion by... Walter Farley and Stephen Farley. And then I got Charlotte's Web by E.B. Um, White. This is the first ever book review that I did here on my channel for you guys that haven't been around from the very beginning and all that. This is basically, like I said, the very first book I've ever reviewed and the screen keeps going black for me. Anyway, yeah, the first book I ever did on my on my channel. So if you want to check that out, I would highly suggest you go and see it. So yeah. And back then, my channel name was Cali. Was my real was my name was my actual name Cali Alt Cali Alton. Um, before I changed it to Traveler Lily. So yeah, Lily is not my real name. It's Cali. So. Traveler Lily is just my channel, and what I use here on the channel, so, yeah. And then I got Robin Hood of Sherwood Forest by Anne McGovern, and then I got um, Di Pokemon Diamond Pearl Adventure Volume 1 by Shindekatsu Aira? Not entirely sure, I'm not really good with, like, four names, so. Um... And then I got the Amulet of Sar Sar Sam Rizard Canned, or Conned, not sure how you say it, by Jonathan Stroud. Um, and then I got Julie of the Wolves by um, Jean Craighead George. 
and then I got Where the Red Fern Grows by Wilson Wiles. And then I got The Color Purple by Alice Walker, The Amber Spyglass, Book 3 of the Dark Materials Trilogy by Philip Pullman, and then finally on the second shelf I got The Glass Dragon by Irene Radford. Now it's on to the last two shelves. Yeah, so I don't know if you can see me that well. I keep going in and out of frame, like said. So yeah, this is probably gonna be my longest um, out of the two parts for my bookshelf tour. So yeah, because it's getting close to forty minutes. So yeah, I got *The Magician's Nephew* by C.S. Lewis. Then I got The Man of My Dreams by Curtis Sittenfeld. Then I got Alice in Wonderland. Um, do I have a name on this? Oh, yeah, it does. By Crescent. No, that's actually, actually the. I think the. Um, the publisher, but. Oh yeah, it's a, yeah. I found, I found it. Yeah, I found it on the cover. Never mind. I found it on the cover. It's it's really tiny, so you can't really see it. It's kind of by it's by Lewis Coel. Coel. Not sure, but it's in gold lettering. It's really tiny. And it doesn't really show it on this cover of the um, book, so you can't really tell. Ugh. And then I got Adventures of Huckle Baby Finn by Mark Twain. And then I got Twilight, New Moon, Eclipse, oh, and Breaking Dawn, all by Stephanie Meyer. And the reason why I got hearts on Eclipse is because back when I was in middle school, I was a big fan of Twilight and of course like you know every young girl back when Twilight first came out everything I was obsessed with Twilight before I realized how trashy it was and all that so I just got rid of it so yeah I got Wicked by Gregory McGuire and then I got Arms from the Sea by which Chokuro? And then I got A Dog's Purpose and A Dog's Journey, both by W. Bruce Cameron. And there's a movie on A Dog's Purpose um, as well. I don't think it did that well. I don't think I don't. I'm not sure because I haven't. In the movie, so I don't know how it well did. So yeah. Um. Then I got the Red Pyramid, book one, of um, the Kane Chronicles by Rick Riordan. Yeah. So I finally got a Rick Riordan book, and it's the Red Pyramid in his Kane Chronicles series because I wanted to try out one of his series. Um, and I wanted a series. I wanted to try out this book just because. I know his other two are really popular, and I want to try out one of his um, lesser-known works, so, go this. Um, I need to get back in here. It's already got all these books back in. And then I got Geek Charming by Robin Palmer. Um, this um, was also inspiration for the Disney Channel which new movie, Geek Charming. So, if you've seen Geek Charming when you were a kid, this is what it was inspired by, the book Geek Charming. So, yeah. Um, 
And then I got Rules of Civility by Amore Torrells. And then, next up, I got The Help by Catherine Stockett. And then I got The Language of Flowers by Vanessa Duffenberg. Then I got If I Stay by Gail Fullman. And then I got Anna Green Gables by L.M. Montgomery. Someone got home, let me see. Okay, no one's home. I thought someone was home, but it's just my name. Sorry about that. Um. Then I got Animal Auric, Puppies in the Pantry by Ben M. Bagelow, and then I got The Great Gilly Hopkins by Katherine Patterson. Me too, that one. Oh, it's, easy. it's really hard to do that well. So I'm trying to face you guys and stuff, so. And sorry, I keep getting distracted by a lot of stuff um, and everything, so. How vegetable are these books? I do not realize how vegetable these books are. Anyway, I got Naruto volumes 2 through 5. I'm <coughs> sorry about that, I keep coughing. That's my cat. So, yeah. <clears throat> A lot of these are just really dusty, so I don't really expect them to be. Yeah. Not filled with the dust or anything, so because I've not read a lot of these in such a long time. So yeah. And they got Animal Arc Ponies at the Point by Ben and Bagelow. I got Ginger I got Ginger Pi Pyre by by Eleanor S. And then finally, on the, on the third shelf, I got The Joy of Peanuts Christmas, 50 Years of Holiday Comics by, um, Shells. So, yeah, that's all the books on that shelf. Finally, at the, at the um, final shelf here, it took me just this long to do it because I get distracted so easily that you know me that it takes forever to finally get to something, so, <laughs> yeah. I got Strange the Dreamer by Lainey Taylor. I got A Shade of Vampire by Bella Forrest. Um, this is book one of the Shade of Vampire series. There's, I believe, 25 books in all in this series. So, be warned if you want to read this series and you're, and you're interested in reading the series. Be warned that there is a lot of books within a Shade of Vampire series, so be warned if you're going to read that big of a series. You might want to rethink if you want to stick it out all the way through, so, yeah. Um. And then I got The Diabolic by S.J. Kincaid. And I know there's a second book after The Diabolic, I just haven't finished The Diabolic yet. So yeah. And then I got The Hate You Give by Andrew Thomas. And then I got Clicked by Tamara Ireland Stone. And then I got Getting Over It by Anna Max.
I got Wild Beauty by Anna Marie McLemore. So yeah, I just love this cover. I just love how pretty it is. <laughs> and then, next up, I can get the, oh my gosh, Next up, I got A List of Cages by Robin Rowe. Um, I got All the Light We Cannot See by Anthony Doer. I got A Study in Charlotte by Brittany Cavaliero. Then I got the bungalow. I got Nancy Drew, the Bungalow Mysteries by Coraline Kane. And then I got Call the Wild and White Fang, both by Jack London. And then I got the Clan of the Cave Bear, Valley of Horses. Um, the Mammoth Hunters, and The Pains of Pla Passage, all by Jean M. Earl. And so, and the reason why the first three books are, like, in really bad shape, and why The Mammoth Hunters has no cover, is because, um, my parents got these years ago, um, when they read them and everything, so that's why they're all worn out and stuff, so they're not in the best condition. Um... I got these, so yeah, and that's and then I got just a film album and the Guinness Book of World Records 2014 and a few yearbooks on um the, that and there, so yeah, that's all the books I have on my second bookshelf. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. I know it took me forever to finally um get through all those books, and I know this is long enough it is as it is. So I guess I'll see you guys in the next video, and I hope you guys will subscribe, share this video with a friend, and comment on this video um, and wh on what books that you enjoy reading and what some other books you might think as your favorites and all that. And yeah, hope everyone has a great 2018. So bye guys.